uh, YouTube. So today we are working on this Whirlpool Duet washer. It's the model number right here. We're having a leak that's coming from, <coughs> I'll show you the part. The part number for this repair water valve. WPW 1023-9942-CM placement water valve. I'll get a good video what the outside of this looks like. The one that's in this washing machine is leaking right here. So we're going to do a video. I've been in this washer before on how to take it apart and to fix it. So let's get started. So what we're going to want to do to start is we're going to want to remove these three screws on the back. One, two, three. So to remove the three screws, you're going to want to use a, I have it on here, it's a one four driver bit, like that. So if you wanted to see, we just to remove it, reverse position of the drill, got one screw there, remove it, another screw, comes out, And then the third screw. Once you get the third screw removed, I'm going to set my camera down and point to show how I get this off. So, pull a little bit, lift should slide. Try not to force it off because the um, you don't want to break the clips or anything. So it comes off, set it to the side. And our piece that's leaking folks, right here. It's coming right out the bottom here. There's a crack. So, the way we're going to want to do this, I like to take a video of how stuff's put together or picture, because it comes in handy. As you can see, we have three hose connections down here, right here, and right here, and two wire connections. Well, actually, it's four, yeah. It's actually four connections, because you got down here too, so that's going to be interesting. So I think the way we will do it, because we're going to take the top ones off. And I'm going to put my video in here. So to start, so we don't confuse anything with the wiring connector, I'm going to go like this. And then do an L for left on the old one. <coughs> and then R for right. Just so we know. And then align so we know which one's which. We're gonna go, and you wanna make sure your machine's unplugged. I'm sure you guys are already gonna do that, but to get the connector out, this is kind of a brittle deal. Kinda of just have to pull a little bit. There's your solenoid, this connection there. And then we're gonna do the right side the same way. Push and then pull. And these like to stick, so. And this one is definitely sticking. There we go. So that's out of the way. So we got it out of the way. The <coughs> thing I would probably do here, we got some wires in the way. So we could kind of move these out of the way like that. So we want to get a really good connection to remove that. We're going to have to pull this piece off. It's not going to be fun getting in here, but we'll start. So take your channel locks, move your clamp up. You want it up. It's going to want to try to go the other direction, but 
and we probably could just put it down on the solenoid ain't gonna really hurt anything now to get this off is going to be very very interesting we got to be extremely careful so we're, we'll get it removed though take your pliers on the bottom one and try to get in there the best you can it's going to be very very hard you can even do this kind of with your hands really carefully you go like that some of these should move try to get that connection right there wants to really stick so I'm going to push on it a little bit just giving it the old uh, like Loosen up, how you doing? Just loosening this up here. Yeah, it's old, it's stubborn. See, we got that part. want to be careful not to break this other piece here there pull carefully We got that now. Hose clamp side. Last one goes down there, and then just give it the old pull a little bit. It's kind of fighting me a little bit. I don't want to replace more than I have to, so I'm just kind of. Yeah, you can see where it's been leaking right there. So, just kind of 
give it the... There. How you doing? Oh yeah, you can see the crack right there. Now let's get the new one in. So, our new one consists of the same deal. Same connections and everything, but we'll get it in. We'll start with this one first. Then we'll start with tightening it too. Be careful on all the room you can get on these things. Like that. So we got our clamp on. And the way you, uh, the way I would approach this is to kind of do it backwards so from what I remember our red goes which is most likely like a hot kind of deal we'll just push it back a little bit like that I'm gonna attach our bottom piece I'm putting my hands currently in dish, not dish, but washing machine detergent. That's what it feels like anyway. But, just gotta get her done. Oh, shit. We got it. That piece is there. And then best to slide that one. We'll see if we can slide it. Like that just kind of want to get it in there the best you can that's pretty good right there and uh, the last piece just gonna want to we got to put our hose clamp on So it's slid, slid in like that, you'll see. Connections are pretty good. We just gotta slide this one down. Just take your time with it. It's on there. Now, we wanna put our blue wires back in there. And then if you remember on that old left solenoid that we put in, I made a mark goes right down into actually goes the other way so we put the other one 
in first. It's locked in. And then we're gonna lock in the other one. So it goes like that. And then locked in. And we've made our connections. So now if you look, it's on there. Made our connections. It's time to test this bad boy out. Gonna hook it up and let it fill. So first step we're gonna wanna do, as you see, we're gonna make sure the power's off, everything's, for this old one, we're gonna go like this. I'm gonna start with the old side. some water out but everything's off so you just go like this okay that that but now we put it over to the side here which as we're testing put the cold right here Do the hot side. Now I'm doing this just to test make sure our repair worked so let's see here so we're hooking it in there and then we go like this to tighten this good now we're turning the water back on Let's see if we have any leaks doesn't look like it not yet so that's in we're gonna do a test load on this machine got a little bit of a leak on that bottom here we're gonna fix it now everything's plugged in. We're just going to run a test load through this machine. So we're going to go like this. Do a quick wash. Start. So now we got our water filter on. Not seeing any leaks. Before it was really leaking. Looks like we're good on that part of it. So now we're letting the machine fill. All looks well. We're gonna see what happens, put it through a couple rinse and spins. And make sure that you hear it cycling on, off, cycling. good so far not seeing nothing originally guys on this one I thought it was the door seal but if you look it's good needs a little bit of cleaning off but I can clean the door seal a little bit just glad I didn't have to replace the door sill, but it looks good. I mean, before we were having water like shoot out of this thing. So this is a cool machine. Like I've always used like top washers, 
like this right here. I mean, it's okay, but obviously the dew went a little bigger, a little better. Another way you put your top on is you turn it. Old face. That. Then. Grab your screws. And. Right. Put your screw, start it like that, and then <coughs> that. Thank you for watching and please like and subscribe. I hope this video helps you with repairing your Whirlpool washer duet. I mainly do scam baiting videos slash awareness on this channel, but occasionally I'll post some repair videos. So I just wanted to let you guys know that I do a little bit of both. I'm good at both things, so why not? Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. Have a good one. See you on the next one.